Imagine a world transformed overnight, where compasses suddenly direct us south. A geomagnetic reversal, where Earth's magnetic poles switch places, poses a grave danger. While gradual, this natural phenomenon could disrupt our long-established magnetic guidance systems for humans and animals, challenging our conventional navigation methods. What would this mean for our technology-reliant society? Could we adapt to a world where our primary navigational cues have flipped? How would this affect our communication systems, especially those reliant on satellites? Join us as we embark on the journey to find these answers. Earth's magnetic field, an invisible yet powerful force, envelops our planet and serves as a critical shield. It protects Earth from the harsh solar winds and cosmic radiation that could otherwise strip away our atmosphere and harm life. This magnetic barrier is crucial for maintaining the stability and safety of our environment. It deflects streams of charged particles from the sun, preventing them from eroding the Earth's atmosphere, a situation that happened to Mars, making it barren and inhospitable. Geomagnetic reversals are a natural and historical phenomenon where Earth's magnetic poles switch places. The magnetic field is dynamic and changes, and even reverses entirely. These reversals have occurred throughout Earth's history. This process is slow and unfolds over thousands of years. It involves weakening the magnetic field, the wandering of the poles, and their eventual swap. The geological record, including the alignment of magnetic minerals in rock formations and ocean floor sediments, chronicles these past orientations giving us insights into the unpredictable nature of geomagnetic reversals. The Earth's core plays a key role in generating the magnetic field, a process known as the geodynamo. The core comprises a solid inner part and a fluid outer core, primarily composed of iron and nickel. This outer core is in constant turbulent motion due to the intense heat from the inner core. This movement, along with Earth's rotation, generates electric currents within the liquid metal, giving rise to the magnetic field that extends into space, forming the magnetosphere. This process is like a colossal dynamo, powered by the natural convection of molten metals heated to extreme temperatures. However, the flow of the outer core is chaotic. Over time, these fluid motions can become erratic, disrupting the existing magnetic field, leading to its weakening, fragmentation, and eventual realignment in the opposite direction. The inner core also influences this process. Its growth, composition, and movements affect the convection currents in the outer core, thereby impacting the magnetic field's generation and maintenance. This intricate interplay between the solid inner core and the fluid outer core is critical in the occurrence of geomagnetic reversals. The last known occurrence of such a reversal was the Brunhess Matuyama reversal, approximately 780,000 years ago. Geomagnetic reversals are documented in Earth's geological records, such as the alignment of magnetic minerals in rock formations and ocean floor sediments, providing evidence of these shifts in the magnetic field. A geomagnetic reversal would profoundly transform the long-standing magnetic guidance system that humans and animals have relied upon for centuries. For instance, compasses, which have traditionally pointed north, would suddenly point south. This shift could have significant implications for navigation and migratory patterns. Animals, particularly migratory species that depend on the Earth's magnetic field for direction, could face disorientation and challenges in their migratory routes. Similarly, human navigation methods that rely on magnetic compasses would need to adapt to the new magnetic orientation. The Earth's core is the engine driving the planet's magnetic field, a process known as the geodynamo. The core consists of a solid inner core and a fluid outer core, primarily made of iron and nickel. The outer core is constantly in turbulent motion, influenced by the intense heat emanating from the inner core. This movement, coupled with Earth's rotation, 
generates electric currents within the liquid metal, which in turn give rise to the magnetic field that extends beyond the planet's surface into space, creating the magnetosphere. This process is much like a gigantic dynamo, where the natural convection of molten metals heated to extreme temperatures generates a magnetic field. However, the flow in the outer core is chaotic and can become erratic over time, disrupting the existing magnetic field. This disruption can cause the field lines to weaken, break apart, and eventually realign in the opposite direction, setting the stage for a geomagnetic reversal. The inner core also plays a significant role in this process. Its growth, composition, and movements influence the convection currents in the outer core, affecting the temperature and pressure conditions, which in turn impact the flow patterns of the molten metal. This interplay between the solid inner core and the fluid outer core is a critical factor in generating and maintaining the magnetic field and consequently in the occurrence of geomagnetic reversals. Recent scientific studies have raised concerns about the gradual weakening of Earth's magnetic field, a trend observed over the past two centuries. This weakening is considered significant in the context of Earth's geological timeline, although it may appear slow on a human timescale. Since the 19th century, the strength of the magnetic field has diminished by approximately 9%. This reduction in strength is not consistent globally but varies in different regions, contributing to the complexity of understanding the phenomenon. The decreasing magnetic field strength is a critical indicator that Earth might be edging closer to a geomagnetic reversal, a shift that could have profound implications for both the planet and technological systems reliant on magnetic orientation. The South Atlantic anomaly stands out as a region of pronounced weakening in the Earth's magnetic field. Stretching from Chile to Zimbabwe, this vast area exhibits a significant dip in the magnetic field's strength, affecting even satellites orbiting above it. Satellites passing through this region experience heightened levels of radiation, posing risks to their onboard electronics and necessitating precautionary measures like system shutdowns during transit through the anomaly. Scientists hypothesize that the South Atlantic anomaly could be symptomatic of deeper processes within Earth's core, possibly indicating a battle between competing magnetic fields at different core layers. This anomaly could be a precursor to the magnetic poles preparing to flip, signifying the onset of a geomagnetic reversal. Another intriguing development is the accelerated movement of the magnetic North Pole, historically anchored in Canada, now drifting towards Siberia. This shift has been occurring at an unprecedented pace in recent years, accelerating from about 15 kilometers per year in the mid-20th century to around 50 myxty kilometers per year currently. This rapid pole movement is extraordinary in the recorded history of Earth's magnetic field and poses scientific puzzles regarding its underlying causes the speed and nature of these changes, rapid weakening of the magnetic field, growth of the South Atlantic anomaly, and swift pole movement, collectively suggest that a geomagnetic reversal could be approaching sooner than previously anticipated. Earth's geological record provides substantial evidence of past geomagnetic reversals, traced through the alignment of magnetic minerals in rock formations and ocean floor sediments. These natural records resemble a tapestry of the planet's magnetic history. When molten rock from volcanic activity solidifies, the magnetic minerals within align according to the Earth's magnetic field at that time. Similarly, as new oceanic crust forms at mid-ocean ridges, iron-rich minerals in the cooling lava record the Earth's magnetic orientation. Over time, these accumulated records present a chronology of the Earth's magnetic field's orientations, revealing the history of past geomagnetic reversals. In geological terms, crons refer to periods during which the Earth's magnetic field maintains a consistent polarity, either normal or reversed. These crons can last from a few thousand years to several million years.
Studying these crons provides invaluable insights into the behavior of the Earth's core and the dynamics of the geodynamo process responsible for generating the magnetic field. As evidenced in geological records, the pattern of crons reveals a history of irregular intervals, highlighting the unpredictable nature of geomagnetic reversals and the complex processes driving these changes. The brunhes matuyama reversal, occurring roughly 780,000 years ago, is a significant event in the Earth's magnetic history. This reversal marked a significant flip in the Earth's magnetic field, where the magnetic north pole switched to the south and vice versa. This event is notable because it heralded a prolonged period of normal polarity, the current phase in which we are living where the magnetic north roughly aligns with the geographic north. This reversal has been well documented through the study of lava flows, deep sea sediment cores, and other geological formations across the globe. The Brunhes Matuyama reversal serves as a pivotal reference point for understanding the nature of geomagnetic reversals and their implications for the planet. It emphasizes the Earth's dynamic magnetic field and its capacity for significant and spontaneous transformations over geological time scales. During a geomagnetic reversal, the Earth's magnetic field, which acts as a protective shield against solar winds and cosmic radiation, weakens and becomes chaotic. This weakening results in less effective deflection of charged particles from the sun. As the magnetic field diminishes in strength, more solar and cosmic radiation can penetrate the Earth's atmosphere. This increased exposure has far-reaching implications, including the potential to alter atmospheric chemistry and increase surface-level ultraviolet radiation. Such changes could lead to heightened risks of skin cancer and other radiation-induced health issues, as well as potential impacts on various forms of life including disruptions in the genetic material of organisms. The increased solar and cosmic radiation penetration during a geomagnetic reversal could significantly impact Earth's atmosphere and climate. The alteration in atmospheric chemistry, particularly the creation or depletion of ozone, could lead to changes in climate patterns and weather phenomena. This radiation can break chemical bonds in the atmosphere, leading to the formation of new compounds or the destruction of existing ones, such as ozone. These atmospheric changes might result in shifts in weather patterns, potentially affecting global temperatures, precipitation cycles, and wine patterns. The impact on the Earth's climate could have cascading effects on ecosystems, agriculture, and water resources. Satellites, crucial for global communication, navigation, weather forecasting, and internet connectivity, rely heavily on the Earth's magnetic field for orientation and navigation. During a geomagnetic reversal, the weakened and disordered magnetic field could lead to satellite malfunctions, as orientation sensors might receive incorrect readings. This misalignment could disrupt satellite functioning leading to communication and data transmission failures. Additionally, the weakened magnetic field provides less protection against solar radiation, increasing the risk of damage to the sensitive electronics on board satellites. Weakened magnetic field could allow more solar-charged particles to reach the Earth's atmosphere, inducing strong electrical currents in power lines. These currents can overload electrical grids, causing widespread blackouts and disrupting essential services such as lighting, heating, and water supply. The potential for significant disruptions to electrical grids poses a risk of economic and societal upheaval as it would affect nearly every aspect of modern life, from individual daily routines to large-scale industrial operations. The prospect of a geomagnetic reversal presents significant challenges to traditional navigation systems. For centuries, mariners have relied on these like gyro compasses, which are not affected by the Earth's magnetism, and GPS systems, which use satellite signals, would become more crucial. However, GPS systems are not fail-proof, especially considering their reliance on satellites, which may be affected by the weakened magnetic field. This situation underscores the importance of developing robust, 
multifaceted navigation systems that can operate independently of the Earth's magnetic field and adapt to these changes. Satellites, which are vital for communication, navigation, and data transmission, rely on the Earth's magnetic field for orientation. A geomagnetic reversal could disrupt their functioning due to the weakened and disordered magnetic field. Satellites equipped with sensors to detect the Earth's magnetic field might receive incorrect readings, leading to improper orientation and disrupted operations. Additionally, the weakened magnetic field provides less protection against solar radiation, posing a risk to the sensitive electronics onboard satellites. This increased exposure could result in damage from solar radiation, potentially causing short circuits or permanent damage and rendering satellites inoperable. The malfunctioning of satellites would have far-reaching implications, affecting global communication, navigation, and numerous other satellite-dependent technologies. The uncertainties and potential disruptions caused by a geomagnetic reversal highlight the need for robust alternative navigation solutions. Innovations in navigation technology must focus on systems that are less dependent on the Earth's magnetic field. For example, Advancements in inertial navigation systems, which use accelerometers and gyroscopes, offer a promising direction. These systems do not rely on external references, making them immune to magnetic field variations. Additionally, the development of new satellite technologies that can withstand increased solar radiation and maintain functionality during magnetic field fluctuations is crucial. The goal is to ensure continuous and reliable navigation capabilities, especially in critical applications like aviation, maritime transport, and emergency services. There are numerous misconceptions surrounding geomagnetic reversals. Firstly, a geomagnetic reversal is not an instantaneous event. It unfolds over thousands of years, making it barely noticeable over a human lifetime. The Earth's magnetic field doesn't just switch off and then on with opposite polarity. Instead, it weakens and becomes more disordered before eventually re-establishing a dominant magnetic north and south pole in opposite orientations. This process, known as the reversal transition, involves multiple temporary poles emerging at various locations around the planet. It's essential to understand that geomagnetic reversals are a normal part of Earth's history and have occurred numerous times without catastrophic consequences for life on Earth. Science fiction often dramatizes geomagnetic reversals as apocalyptic events causing massive earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and continental shifts. However, there is no scientific evidence to support these scenarios the movement of tectonic plates, and the occurrence of natural disasters like earthquakes and volcanic eruptions are governed by forces entirely unrelated to the Earth's magnetic field. Additionally, while a geomagnetic reversal does involve a significant weakening of the magnetic field, it doesn't mean that the Earth will suddenly become uninhabitable or that catastrophic natural disasters will be triggered. The process of a reversal is much more gradual and less dramatic than often portrayed in sensationalized accounts. Many fears about geomagnetic reversals stem from the belief that they would expose the Earth to deadly levels of solar and cosmic radiation, leading to widespread health crises. In reality, the Earth's atmosphere, particularly the ozone layer, continues to protect life from the sun's most harmful rays, even during a reversal. The increase in radiation exposure during a reversal is not drastic enough to cause direct harm to life on Earth. Another common fear is that all electronic systems will fail, plunging the world into chaos. While certain sensitive systems, especially those relying on satellites, might be affected by increased solar radiation, it's unlikely to result in a total technological breakdown. Modern technology is increasingly designed to be resilient against various types of interference, including solar activity. Understanding these facts is crucial in preparing for and adapting to the potential impacts of a geomagnetic reversal rather than surrendering to unfounded fears and myths.